What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, dog. I mean, I hate to do it on you guys this early again, but before you go and update to macOS Catalina, I would probably tell you not to do so. And it has nothing to do with it being horrible or this or that, or it's not worth it in 2019, nothing like that. It really comes down to two major things and it kind of strings at a different part of me. Now you guys probably know I produce music all the time, not as much as I would like to, but I do it occasionally, you know, I want to still dabble into it more often than I do. But with that being said, another mixtape coming soon. However, I just went on Reddit and apparently because iTunes is being disabled, a lot of music producing software that taps into iTunes is also pretty much not compatible with macOS Catalina. So that kind of spoke to me personally because I'm like, you know what, the only thing I use is like Logic Pro, so it's not that big of a deal to me, but for a lot of other people that could be an issue. So for specific music producing people, I know there's plugins that use iTunes, I'm sure, and a lot of different softwares that use some type of support from iTunes. So for that specific people, for those specific groups of people, I'd probably recommend you to kind of wait out Mac OS Catalina and don't update to it. But that's kind of a niche category, you know, that's not really a lot of people. However, on the complete flip side of things, there's a major thing with Mac OS Catalina that a lot of people might not even know is actually a feature of Mac OS Catalina, but it's more so kind of an issue right now. And I kind of relate this to like the headphone jack thing, <laughs> completely off topic, but like, when Apple removed the headphone jack, people had to kind of get accustomed to it and people are still kind of complaining about it. But over time, people do get used to it. And now all phones are kind of just, you know, they don't have headphone jacks. And the reason I brought that up is because Mac OS Catalina dropped support for 32-bit apps. So all those different softwares that you have installed onto your device that are 32-bit architectures and they don't have 64-bit architecture support, then that means that those apps will not be supported on Mac OS Catalina. Now that is kind of a huge issue because for me personally, I only had a couple apps and it's not that big of a deal, but in my day to day life, but it is kind of because the softwares that I use that were 32 bit were softwares that I had to use for my college classes. So it's like, oh my God, even though I'm not in those specific classes that use those softwares anymore, I could only imagine if like a student or somebody who can only use 32 bit apps, or maybe that's the only specific software that's supported by the professor, you would be pretty much locked out of using those apps with Mac OS Catalina. And it's not just, you know, school software. There's tons of different use cases and tons of little apps that are, you know, made for Mac OS devices that, you know, are 32 bit. And I'll give you another example. There's a ton of little plugins that I used before. I think one of them was like a brightness toggle one that I used for my MacBook and I ported over to my iMac and that also was 32 bit. And as far as I know, there's no 64 bit app for that specific model of that specific software. So that means I would have to go and actually f either find another software or just not even use it, which I can probably get by with it. Most of my software is 64 bit anyway, but for a lot of people I'm sure that are watching this who are currently on macOS Mojave or like El Capitan or, or Sierra or whatever the case is, I would probably recommend you to not update to macOS Catalina just yet. Those are the two main reasons, basically the you know, app support, that's the main one. Also there's bugs and little things like that. But those bugs will be worked out, you know, once the next version of Mac OS Catalina comes and then through iterations. But that 64 bit thing, that's probably there to stay. So I would highly, highly recommend you guys just wait it out. If your app is, you know, pretty popular, used and was only 32 bit, I'm pretty sure they're going to go ahead and upgrade that to 64 eventually. So you can wait until all your apps are, you know, upgraded that way. If they don't, then I guess you're going to be stuck on a lower version or you're going to have to find substitute apps in that case. So to kind of sum up this whole entire thing, I would really recommend you guys do not update to Mac OS Catalina yet. Stay on your current version if you fall into that group of people that I described. If not, obviously go and update. You know, I install beta software all the time and like 0.0 releases of official releases. So it's totally fine. I have Mac OS Catalina on my super old MacBook. I think it's like a 2012 Retina. I don't even use that thing anymore, but it does have Mac OS Catalina on it because it is supported. So it's not my main MacBook. I don't even use my main MacBook book that often at first ever since I got my iMac but that's pretty much that if you guys have any questions or you there's any updates to this let me know in the comment section below hit that like button that'll mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then Thank <laughs> you.